Welcome to Inspirational Sunday with Richard Hackworth. Today's topic is five rules that I try to live by. So I want to share with you my five personal rules that I try to live by, among other codes of honor and things that I make a part of my life. And um, the first one is to remind myself that life is not easy. And that's okay, because it's the things that we work the hardest for that we appreciate the most. So keep that in mind. And number two is that unbelievable doesn't exist. Don't think that something can't be achieved, that it's, it's unbelievable or unthinkable, because people with that mindset achieve less. And all of the great accomplishments in the world at one time or another were thought to be unbelievable by many people. So don't get caught in that trap. Now, the third rule that I try to live by is to remind myself that happiness is a choice, that every day we choose to uh, respond in certain ways. And when you learn to respond with gratitude or to be happy about the things that you have, then you're going to have more happiness in your life and always try to surround yourself with other happy, positive people to make that happen. And then I think that for a lot of adults, we focus a lot on success. And uh, it's only natural that we want to have the optimal life that we can have. We want to reach our full potential. And to do that, you have to learn to define success for yourself. What is it that would make you successful in your mind and heart? And I know for me as a man, um, I think that the five things that typically make a man successful are first, fatherhood. You know, are you a good father? Uh, second would be being a good husband, a faithful husband, a husband that can protect and provide. Um, the third part would be your health, obviously. And when I say health, I'm talking about your body, mind, and spirit not just going to the gym to exercise your muscles. And then the fourth area of success uh, for me would be career. I want to make sure that, uh, you know, I'm progressing in my career, that I always feel excited about what I'm doing. And that's the thing that I love about being an entrepreneur is that I get to choose what it is that I do for a living. And uh, I feel really blessed for that. And then number five would be my friendships, because it's really true. You know, the five closest friends that you have will determine how far and how successful you will become in life. So make sure that you're choosing to spend time with the absolute best friends that you have, you know, that are people that are good examples for you, for the way that you want to live your lifestyle. And then the fifth one is uh, something that uh, I had heard before. Um, I'm trying to think of uh, which motivation. I think it was Zig Ziglar had said that you don't want to leave breadcrumbs. And what he meant by that was that you need to keep a tiny life, tidy life. You don't want to have regrets. You want to look back on your life and say, yes, I tried my best at everything that I did. And that's why I'm successful. That's why I'm happy. That's why I'm healthy. Because I kept things tidy. I didn't allow myself to be deep in debt. I didn't allow myself to have a habit of eating unhealthy foods. I didn't have a habit of dwelling on problems instead of just working on solutions. And I think that when you do that, you do have a blessed life. And um, so I know some people are going to say, well, those aren't the five rules that I would live by. I would do this and this. And that's great. I want you to write those five rules of your own. I want you to focus on the five areas of life that you want to improve and that you want to achieve to become successful in your heart and mind. And when you do that, you'll find that you truly have the best life possible. And uh, a couple of things I like to do every day is express gratitude. And the first thing I do every day is to Think about three things that I'm grateful for. And almost always, those three things are the people in my life and certain people in uh, individually, you know. And I like to reach out to people and tell them, you know, how much they mean to me because some people don't realize it, that they're a big part of your life. So make sure that gratitude, uh, practicing gratitude is a part of your daily habits. So I hope that you got something from this. If you did, please like, share, comment, uh, send the link to somebody that might need to hear this. 
And uh, while you're here, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and ring that bell to get notifications. It means a lot to us to have your continued support and encouragement. All right, guys, that's all I got for you today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again next time.